Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. The widget of the day is the date picker, which brings up this little calendar that the user can interact with. This is a really handy widget to have and it's super easy to implement. So let me show you real quick by jumping into the code. So in my main function, I've just got here my app, which is running my homepage, which is just a stateful widget. And inside I've got here a blank scaffold. So in the body, in the middle, let's just create a little button here. And we'll sort out this on pressed function in just a second, but let's just give it a text to say, choose date. Cool, so there's our button, but let's just decorate it up a little. Awesome, so here's our button. Now you can click on this button, but right now it's not really doing anything. So let's go to the on pressed function here and create a separate method called show date picker. And once you start typing show date, you should be able to see the widget there. So just press enter. There is quite a few things that we need to specify. Well, three things really. Now, if you hover over the initial date, you can see it requires a date time object. So when the user opens up the calendar, let's say the initial date is just the date now. And for the first and last date, you can specify how far back and how far forward you can go. So this would be largely dependent on the type of app you're doing. But once we've filled out these three dates, you can click on the button and it brings up this nice calendar. So you can click around here and you can also input the date by text if you wanna just type it in. And you can select this little toggle to have the overview of the different years, days, and also the months, of course. Cool, now functionality aside, just in terms of the aesthetics and the decoration, you can come back to the main.dart file and by default, it should be blue but you can specify this theme, specify the primary swatch. So if I change this to deep purple, then the calendar is going to change the color accordingly to that theme. And the other thing that's useful is also you can specify this brightness. So this is kind of like dark mode and light mode. You can have a dark calendar like this as well. Looks pretty nice without even putting too much effort into it. Okay, cool. Now coming back to the calendar, how do we actually get access to the date that the user has picked? Now to demonstrate this, let's wrap this material button in a column and above it, let's create a little text widget just to display the date that the user chose. Looks like it's all scrunched to the top. So let's just space this axis alignment out and make the text widget just a little bigger so that we can all see this. Okay, so obviously we're not going to put in a fixed string like this. We're going to have to come up here and create a date time variable. So let's initialize it to be the date today. And just to see this working, if I give this variable to the text widget, let's see what it shows. Cool, there it is. So that's the date today, um, 2021, November 8th. And it also tells you the time at which I'm recording this, which is almost 1 a.m. So that's what the date time object actually gives you. So it gives you the year, month, day, and also the time let's display the date that the user picks. So if I pick 10, I want the 10th day to show up, but it's currently just showing the eighth. Cool, so coming back to our show date picker, if you go to the last bracket and type then, it tells you what happens after the user selects a particular date. So you can see the value there. So this is going to be the date time value that the user has picked. Cool, so once the user has picked something, then let's set the state and update our date time variable to be the date time that the user has just picked. Cool, so again, right now it's just displaying the 8th of November. And if I just select a random date, let's say 2012. And then you can see it updating there. So this is how you access what the user has just picked. Also, by the way, this date time variable just shows the entire date time object, the year, the month, the day, and the time. But of course you can get, say for example, just the month, right? So that's just the 11th. If I say December, it'll change to 12. And of course, yeah, you can specify just the years and so on. So that's how you use a date picker. Hopefully that was easy to understand. Play around with it and let me know if you have any questions but other than that thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one latest